hey guys welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here um, I hope you like it I hope you stay I hope you subscribe and turn on your notification bell for more content from me and if you're coming back thank you so much for coming back um, today I am heading out I'm just going to the African store to get some a little bit of groceries from there just so a little essentials that is missing um, I'm heading over to uh, get some stuff from there and because um, I plan on cooking some cassava leaves that's my children's favorite uh, type of vegetable so I'm getting some cassava leaves I will be infusing my cassava leaves with some uh, goat meat so that's what I'm getting I'm getting some palm oil and whatever stuff I will see from there I will get so um, I'm taking guys along with me so let's go guys let's get started I have my green onions I have about five I will be using one onion a half of an eggplant and two stems of celery and I'll also be using um, a little bit of leeks make sure with your leeks that you cut it in half and you open up this way so you can be able to clean it up so look at all the sand that just came out of that leek it's 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 it's, very, it's a very sandy plant so just make sure that you really um, wash it thoroughly so I'm just cut cutting all my um, my vegetables like so in just little pieces but for those that really don't like to see chunks in their food you can go ahead and put it in a blender and blend all your um, ingredients and pour it in your um, cassava leaves okay so I got both of my foods prepped and ready to go so I'm gonna start with my um, bundu cassava leaves I'm gonna add um, about five Maggie cubes and then I will be putting in all the ingredients that I cut in the pot and I will be grating a little bit of the um, nutmeg in there as well and that will be it for that so there's nothing it's not really putting a lot of seasoning in it so that's it for that and for my goat meat i will also be grating a little bit of the nutmeg as well i will be adding two maggie cubes and about a quarter of an onion and i will get both of my foods started so we can start cooking I can't believe 
did I get to see those eyes for more than tonight? I swear you must have felt from the sky and I feel so lucky I'm there. So while my food is cooking, I will just take this time to clean my dishes, remove extra dishes from the sink. Uh, put all the utensils away that I use while cooking and also take this time to just sweep up and tidy up my kitchen area. So one thing about cooking fondu, cassava leaves and goat, these two um, food have really strong scent. So make sure you open up your windows and let the air in and the odor of the food out because the smell will linger in your home for a while. So you don't want that. So this is how my cassava leaves look. All the water has reduced and my goat meat is ready as well. So I will be combining it all together. I will be adding some more water. And uh, from there, we will be adding uh, some more salt. I tasted it, but I didn't have enough salt from the Maggi Cube. So I added more salt to it. And then I will also be adding uh, palm oil to this and I'm gonna let it boil all together so all the flavors can combine So I'm making some fufu and this is what we're going to have our pondu with. We are going to have some fufu. I mean you can have it with rice, you can have it with whatever starch of your choice. But for our choice today, it was fufu. And these are the end results to my cassava leaves. Everything has blended, everything is combined. And with this recipe, you can add any type of meat you want, any chicken, uh, fish, beef, whatever you want, okay? So thank you so much for tuning in today, and I appreciate you stopping by, and I will see you on my next video. Not optional. Not optional. How gravity just pulls me back.